Oh, hey you two. Why are gliders white? The age old question asked by many quite frequently actually. You can have any colour you want as long as it's white. This is a typical modern fiberglass glider. They have to be painted white. But why? And are there any coloured gliders in the world? Well essentially it comes down to temperature. Fiberglass resin can lose strength as temperature rises and on a hot day it can get hot enough to actually get into the range of causing damage to the fiberglass. So need to keep the whole thing as cool as possible. We are allowed other colours in small quantities. For example, the lettering of the glider on the side here. This is blue paint painted on. So the same applies for tail registrations. And it's amazing the difference. If this has been in the sun and you put your hand here, it feels cool to the touch, but you touch the lettering and it's warm, noticeably warm. So the rules are you're allowed lettering and labelling on the sides of your glider and underneath but you're not allowed anything on the top surfaces of the wings. And each glider manufacturer will specify that for their glider, what you're allowed and not allowed to do. So I've broken into this old hangar, and we've got here a K13 glider. This is an older model. So the fuselage is made out of steel tubing, plywood, and then over the top of that, a fabric, which is the main outer layer. This has been freshly painted, so you can see it's looking beautiful. Here behind me, we've got another glider that is perfect to show you what old gliders and how they were constructed. And this is a blue glider, not white. Oh, it's actually got orange tips here on the wings, and we can have a look inside the woods of the wings. These were then covered in this fabric. This is quite a stiff fabric that's been painted, and inside here, just hollow voids. But because it's not fiberglass composite, the heat requirements are not the same. It doesn't matter if it gets so hot. Thus, you can paint it other colours. So back in the day, they didn't have colour, as evidenced by these old photos. Everything was grey or white. Eventually, they figured out how to add colour to the world, and we ended up with blue gliders and other coloured gliders, until fiberglass came along. So according to studies by the DG glider manufacturer, the fiberglass resin is specified to a temperature of 54 degrees. So need to keep the whole thing as cool as possible. So another big question asked quite commonly is, which is the easiest color to see in the air? Now I remember seeing an online study about this years ago that said either solid white or solid black are the only two options. Anything you do on top of that, such as stripes or reflective patches, I suspect is actually just helping camouflage you in amongst the background. Now, of course, this doesn't always apply. There is one big exception, and that's gliders flying over very snowy, white, mountainous terrain. In those conditions, some orange markers are very useful. So the more stripes you put on your glider, the harder it is to visually identify from a distance that it is a glider and which direction it's traveling. And this effect was actually used in World War II for a brief time with what they call dazzle camouflage. If you're looking at the ship through a periscope from, say, an enemy submarine, by putting lots of different stripes on and different angles, it was very difficult to tell which direction the ship was facing and heading. They also use this kind of camouflage technique when track testing new prototype cars, and they cover the car with this random pattern that is meant to obfuscate and hide the shape of the car. So, putting patterns, stripes, lines on your glider, all it can do is make it harder to see. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something. Do check out our online store if you're interested in a shirt, otherwise we'll catch you next time.